if you're not from a northern climate that gets a lot of snow and ice, harsh winters like ours, uh, we're here in southwestern Pennsylvania, um, you might not know what happens to a metal roof, especially one that's not real steeply pitched, uh, if you get a heavy snowfall. I'm going to pan around here and show you. This is uh, something we actually see more often than you'd think. Unfortunately, with a metal roof, unlike asphalt shingles, you don't have such the risk of ice damming where you would have water from the underside of the snow melting. The snow above actually acts as an insulator, and then um, heat rising from the home will cause that under layer of snow to melt. And then th because of the ice dam that's at the bottom of the roof eave, usually along a gutter, and you see your icicles form, uh, it has nowhere to go because of all the frozen water there at the cold eave, like above a soffit vent. So it'll travel back upwards and underneath your shingle tabs, the edges, and then it'll uh, seep down into your roof decking. And over time, you'll start to see evidence of that on the drywall ceiling or the plaster inside the home beneath your attic space. But yeah, um, see here, that's a really thick layer of snow up to probably six, seven inches in some place. Might be hard to tell on the camera, um, but a lot of this is just getting trapped here. This side of the house is not getting a whole lot of sun. And this particular area that we're up in right now actually gets some really harsh weather conditions, uh, a lot more extreme than down in town. Uh, it's just because it's up on a mountain. So uh, yeah, but if you haven't seen this before, <laughs> it's uh, something that I thought you might be interested in taking a look at. This is real fun too. Walking through snow about up to your knees. <sighs> really envy you guys down in the south where it's always warm. Try coming up here in our area and doing some real work sometime. 